I'm Captain Michael Higgins. Uh, I'm a Buffalo firefighter uh, assigned to the boat temporarily. Uh, I work at Rescue One. This is the uh, City of Buffalo's fire boat. It was built in 1900 for the City of Buffalo. It was brought here in 1900, uh, Elizabeth City, New Jersey. Uh, it's fought major fires. It's the oldest active fire boat in the world right now. It's 120 foot long, 200 ton. Uh, we ice break all winter long to keep the, the Buffalo River open. So uh, Eden and West Seneca and all the towns out there, Casanova Creek, South Buffalo doesn't flood. Uh, if, if we weren't to open Buffalo River, it'd be like a, a, a cog in a sewer. It, it would back up and it would go into the neighborhoods. In 1926, it, it, was, in a, uh, it was destroyed in a fire, major fire. And the superstructure was all burned out. Uh, 1928 it was rebuilt, uh, 1920, or 1930 it was put back in service. Uh, the original name was the Grat, and then in 1955 it was outfitted from diesel, or from steam to diesel, and at that time it was put back in service and it was named the Firefighter uh, for six months. And the president of our union was uh, Edward Cotter, and he had passed away. So they, they named the boat the Edward M. Cotter after our union president in 1956. Uh, these are two of our pumping engines. Um, we we'd, uh, engage them, once the engines are running, we engage them with this uh, power takeoff and it actually engages the uh, pump to go ahead and start sucking the water out of the lake. With these two pumping here, these two alone, we can pump about 8,000 gallons a minute, which is, like I say, about seven fire trucks. It's a lot of water. When uh, we're going to pump water, uh, myself, the captain, will be up on the bridge and the engineer is down in the engine room. He's got to stay here at all times. Uh, we'll go ahead and blow the whistle to start the pumps. And then three whistles will give us the 80 pounds of pressure. And in a case of emergency, you hit the two whistles and he's right here to disengage it and the water will stop. Uh, it's, it's an old system, but the boat was built in 1900, so nothing can be modernized, uh, modernized right now. It's on a charter for a, a national landmark, so we can't change nothing. These uh, engines here are the same as our forward engines. Are, you can use these for pumping, but these are mainly propulsion engines. You cannot use the pumping engines up forward for propulsion, but you can use these propulsion engines for pumping. Uh, if you were tied up, you would disengage your, uh, your shaft and you would engage the PTO for pumping. Uh, we won't do it. You don't want to lose the engines for uh, getting underway, so we don't use them. For uh, pumping, What's the fuel? it's a diesel fuel. Uh, they were used to be steam in 1956. They put these uh, caterpillars, 450 horsepower each uh, caterpillars. Uh, they're diesel, like I say, diesel engines, water cooled. Uh, a lot of this equipment, this this down here is from 1900. Uh, this part, not the engines, but the hull itself is 1900 vintage. It's incredible that it's still fo floating. Who's your, who's your engineer, and how long has he been working? John Hart is our engineer. He's been here um, 11 years. He's worked for the Department of uh, Engineering, and he got converted over to uh, Fireboat 11 years ago. My, I was an engineer for seven years in the service, so we just rebuilt the clutches, the clutch assemblies back here. We uh, could have sent it out, and probably 30 grand to have someone come in and do it. And myself, John, and uh, Tommy Schultz, the other captain, to no cost to the city, we did it ourselves except us being here. And that's the part of the reason we're here is for knowledge and our ability. Uh, the, the screws are actually undersized for this boat. Uh, uh, they're only five foot in diameter, which is not big at all. I mean, when you would think to move something, move water to move a 200 ton boat, you were thinking, you know, somewhere 10, 12 foot diameter, but they're really small. And there are no guards on there for ice, so we can't back down into the ice. We'll wind up jamming them and then uh, throwing off your transmission. You'll wind up jamming it. So everything, everything is you, you gotta prepare for what's gonna happen. You can't just go into a situation not knowing because the age of the boat, the makeup of the boat, uh, just it doesn't react like a, a boat that was built 20 years ago even. It's, this is 1900. When you wanna go forward, you tell it to go forward, but it's gonna take 10 seconds to start moving. <laughs> and when you, when you stop, you don't have brakes. This it takes a good 100 feet you know, as you're backing down just to come to a stop. So you just, everything is, you know, you're thinking 10 seconds ahead before you actually are gonna do something.